I'm gonna show you five amazing plugins. And by the end, I'm guaranteeing you that you'll find a new plugin that will save you a lot of time building. So first is resize align. So if we go ahead and make two parts, I can go ahead and show you guys how this plugin works. So one part there, one part there. All right, this is one of the most useful plugins ever made. So we can go ahead and click resize align up here. You should be able to get it in the toolbox or link in the description if you can't find it. All the plugins will be linked below. You just click this and we can go ahead and click on one face of the part and click on the other face of the other part and it will stretch out to the uh, part and fill the gap. So it's a really useful plugin for lining up parts, especially when you add a key bind to it. So I have mine set to R, so all I have to do is press R on my keyboard and it'll toggle between resize align and just a uh, normal selector. So it comes in really handy having this uh, key bind. So to add a key bind to studio, all you do is you go to file, advanced, customize shortcuts, and then we just search for resize align and click on this box, double click this box, and then type the key that you wanna use or combination of keys. You can do that for pretty much any plugin, but they don't always work how you want. All right, next is Building Tools by F3X. Um, it's really just a no-brainer plugin. If you don't have this, um, I mean, you're gonna have some troubles because in Studio, usually when you're scaling parts, they all scale like this. Well, the main function that people use this plugin for, or at least I do, is uh, use it to scale parts all in the same direction. The only thing is they have to have the same rotation, otherwise they scale in random random ways. So if I rotated this one that way, maybe turned it like that, uh, see, it's gonna stretch all different directions. So that's the only trouble with this plugin, but it does come in handy and you can fix that rotation pretty easily. So yeah, next is the waterfall generator, which I actually just demonstrated how to use that in a recent video. Be up in the top right hand corner, but you should watch that after this video because you're gonna miss out on some cool plugins. Um, and it lets you make crazy waterfalls with just two clicks. Like, look at this, this is amazing. It looks realistic, it looks really nice on the rocks too. So next, is power selectors. Power selectors, oh my gosh. These just came out out of the blue. Someone on the dev forum just made this awesome plugin where you can select parts a lot better than the default studio selectors. So you can uh, click and drag, see? And you can select with the circle select. But look at this, it didn't select any parts behind it. Well, that's one of the main features. Unlike the studio selectors, which if I were to do the same thing, select these, it's gonna select all these parts behind it, which just, ugh, it's, it just doesn't it just doesn't work all the time so if we use power selectors uh there's also the box select it only selects parts um that are right in your view it doesn't select parts behind it which is it comes in so handy oh my gosh i can't believe that roblox studio doesn't have an option for this i don't know it's weird roblox studio has a lot of quirk but power selectors these are great it is two plugins and i do recommend setting power selectors to bind to C for the circle select and B for the box select so it doesn't drag parts on accident when you're trying to select a part. Like sometimes you'll be inside of a building trying to drag and select parts and it just starts dragging parts. Well, this doesn't do that. So this is really useful. All right, next brush tool. Brush tool is easily one of the best plugins ever because you can paint maps basically in minutes so i can go ahead and add, add this tree by clicking on it clicking add and then we can set the radius of the brush we can set the spacing we can set the scale so we can set it to random so we can have it 0 0.6 to 1.2 and then we click up here activate brush oh that's way too many okay let's increase the spacing and they're floating out of the ground so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make the rotation random, um, and then I'm also gonna make random wobble to five degrees. And then to uh, fix that them floating, you click settings on the tree, and then change the vertical offset to uh, fixed, and then just turn it down just a little bit. Oh, and then just test it out until it works. Um, all right, there we go. Uh, they're still in the ground a little bit. Well, if I go ahead and turn down the uh, scale just a little bit, that should help. So yeah, this is an awesome plugin. Um, because you don't have to spend time placing all those trees on your own. You just drag. It's awesome. Plugins are just part of the process to making your builds really good and getting them done quickly. If you want to take your builds to the next level with even more crazy advice, make sure to click the video that's on screen. See you guys there.